She is creating quite a legacy in her son's honor. A local mother on a mission, Maureen Molak's son, David, an Alamo Heights student, took his own life after repeatedly being bullied online and in person. Since then, she's worked to change laws to protect kids from cyberbullying, and now she's taking it to a federal level. Jonathan Cotto explains what the Kids Online Safety Act would actually do. So we uh, formed David's Legacy Foundation in 2016 after my son David died by suicide and the months prior to his death. He was the target of relentless and devastating cyberbullying. And since then, Maureen Bullock says she's been working with state lawmakers to pass David's law in 2017. David's law is a comprehensive bill that affected the education code, the civil code, and the criminal code. And basically, it gave schools the authority to investigate cyberbullying that occurred off campus. In 2021, an additional version of David's law also passed. Every school in Texas now has to have an anti-bullying committee. Molak says they want social media companies to do their part in protecting kids. And it's not just cyberbullying, it is sextortion, it is uh, sexual exploitation, it is, uh, you know, our kids that are being fed content with its pro uh, suicide. She's now taking her efforts to the federal level and working on something called COSA, the Kids Online Safety Act with other parents across the U.S. whose children have been harmed by social media. And what we need is the social media companies to have a duty of care to help us prevent and mitigate those harms that children are exposed to online. And without federal regulation, that is not going to happen. COSA aims to limit harmful content minors are exposed to, promote transparency by tech companies, and provide parental user controls, allowing families to navigate the online experience of their child in an effort of protecting their privacy. And lastly, it would ensure the strongest, most protective settings are on by default for minors. So right now it is in the uh, Senate Commerce Committee and we are waiting for a markup. Uh, hopefully we'll hear something this month. Jonathan Cotto, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.